Hey guys, today we'll be continuing our lecture on moments and today we have a very interesting Java applet by phet.colorado.edu and uh, this, this applet is very interactive and you will get to see some real life situations here and uh, so let's begin with this this is the applet and here you have the seesaw remember that uh, whenever you're doing moments you will always be encountering seesaws and because that is one of the kind of balancing things that, that you see in your daily life situations so let's see this is our ruler which is measuring the distance from the center point here you can see this is 0 0.25 in meters 0 0.5 in meters 0 0.751 1.25 in that and this is 0 0.25 in this direction and this is how it goes now let's take an example let's say this is one of the people I have here and mind you I have a lot of objects here uh, people want to have people to have bricks so to make it interactive I'll be using people here so let's say I have this woman here all right and because we know that she is producing a turning effect and so the seesaw goes down in the clockwise direction however if there's someone else here there might be a situation where the seesaw is balanced and as you see I move her this kid away from the pivot it's coming to a balanced point why because as I'm moving her away from the pivot the moment that she exerts in the other direction gets bigger because moment is force times distance and as you increase the distance the moment also gets increased because moment is directly proportional to the distance so you can see that now let's find out let's find out the place where I need to put her to balance the situation if the, the lady is sitting here at this point so let's see let's do this example see I have this woman of mass 60 kilograms alright but remember mass is not force and for moments if I need to find out the moment I would have to find out the force exerted times distance but in this case you should remember that a mass always exerts a force there is a force related to this mass which is known as the gravitational force so, and the weight so the weight is given by a mass times gravitational acceleration so mass is 60 I should write it here 60 let's say the gravitational acceleration is 10 for simplicity so the weight or the force of gravity is 600 newtons this is the force let's say if this is the seesaw here this is the pivot and this is the lady here let's say this is the lady here she is exerting a downward force because weight is all weight always acts downward of 600 newtons and obviously we know that every force which has even this little bit of distance from the pivot from the center point or let's say the center of, of stability exerts a moment so there has to be a moment associated with it so let's calculate this moment it's easy because moment is simply force times the perpendicular distance let's find out the moment that this woman is applying or exerting so the distance is 0 0.5 meters so the, this is force 600 times 0 0.5 this becomes 300 newtons per meter so this is the moment and since we know that this will move if you fix it here this will move in this direction which is the clockwise direction always mention the direction here so this is the moment here however if I need to balance it there will be some situation that I need to overcome which is that I will have to provide the seesaw with a moment of 300 newtons meter of the exact same magnitude in the opposite direction in this direction I will have to give it a moment of 300 newtons meter in this direction and that way I will be able to put it to equilibrium 
so now we know we have to bring it to equilibrium and this is our moment in the clockwise direction so I have to find out same moment in the anti-clockwise direction so mass of the girl is 30 kilograms which makes a force of let's say mass times gravitational acceleration 30 times 10 which gives me a force of 30 newtons 300 newtons sorry 300 newtons so let's say if this is a seesaw here the, this is the kid she exerts a force of 300 newtons now we have to find out the exact distance from the pivot at which it exerts a moment of 300 newtons oh, sorry a moment of 300 newtons meter so we know the moment that she needs to exert and this would be in the anti-clockwise direction because our aim is to balance the seesaw is force times displacement or distance from the pivot so force is 300 newtons times distance in this moment is 300 so this becomes 300 is equals to 300 times distance so if you divide both sides by 300 distance would be 1 meter so we have to make sure that this kid sits 1 meter away from the pivot to exactly balance the moment provided by the woman so let's see let's try this is 0 0.75 let's try you can sit over here and you can see that this comes to a level and both of these signs have a green now which means that they're in equilibrium so this is how you know now let's see let's remove these here and let's try these here. let's see this is the man here now this is our example number two this is the man here now right so he is has a mass of 80 kilograms so his mass is 80 kilograms however his gravitational force or his weight is simply mass times gravitational acceleration so weight would be 80 times 10 which is 800 newtons meter so if this is the seesaw and this is the pivot this guy here sitting at this point exerts a force at 800 newtons meter so this means that since there is a distance here obviously there would be a moment provided produced and you can see if you fix it from here there would be a moment in the clockwise direction sorry this is not newtons meter this is simply newtons I'm really sorry this is just the force that I've calculated but I want to calculate the moment here that this force has if he's sitting at a distance of 0 0.5 meters this is simply 800 times 0 0.5 force times distance the moment that this force has is simply 400 newtons meter this is the turning effect and we know that this is in the clockwise direction now you should understand that to balance this man we our aim is to provide the same net moment same moment sorry in the anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction of about 400 newtons meter to balance the seesaw and if we have that boy here weighing or having a mass of let's say mass of the boy is 20 kilograms so first of all first step is to calculate the force associated with this mass simply 20 times gravitational acceleration which is 10 so the force or the weight it's, it's exactly the same thing that becomes 200 newtons so if this is the seesaw same seesaw he's sitting here 
he exerts a force of 200 newtons but this 200 newtons should somehow produce a moment of 400 newton meter in the anti-clockwise direction to balance the seesaw only in that case clockwise moment sum of clockwise moment would be equal to sum of anti-clockwise moment anti-clockwise moment so this guy has to make uh, let's say a, a moment of 400 newtons meter so let's see we know the desired moment this is 400 is equals to we know the formula m is equals to force times distance and we have to find out the distance at which this guy should be placed so that he exerts a moment of 400 newtons meter this would be 200 times d if we divide both sides by 200 you would find that d would be 2 meters this means that this distance away from the pivot should be 2 meters if he ha if this force has to exert a moment of 400 newtons meter you can simply see this this is the force 200 times 4, 2 this would give me a moment of 400 newtons meter in the anti-clockwise direction let's find this out let's see if this is correct he's sitting at 0 0.5 and with our calculation this guy should when placed at 1 meter this guy should balance this sorry yeah sorry 2 meters sorry so you can see that he balanced the seesaw so physics is working brilliantly so that is how you do the seesaw problems so in the next uh, lecture we'll be talking a little more about the two and three phase type of objects in we'll see how they balance each other. So stay tuned guys and thanks for watching.